Welcome to the great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go the path to Mount Zion. Welcome, you followers of the path, you daily sacrifices. Welcome all Rosarians. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace, the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. The author of the Book of Love, the standard literature of Triple Grace, which you can get at Amazon. Now, our topic today is have all in common. Where have you read this? And they had all in common. Yes, in the book of Acts. The first early Christians, the first followers of the path of Jesus Christ, had all in common. But what does it really truly mean to have all in common? It means that they were sharing their resources, that nobody said, oh, this is mine alone. No, they opened everything up what they had for all to, to use. They had all in common. They shared resources. If somebody had this one, another one had a need of it, it would be given to him for the use of it. And this is what we are lacking today. Sharing and caring is what we are truly lacking. Everybody says, this is mine, 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 mine. But in reality, what the Lord has asked you to do is to share your resources, to support one another, to lift up the needy, to look for the lost sheep, to help the nameless and faceless. Are we doing that? In our churches, they are far away from that. Far, maybe with some small, small project from time to time, they go to the homeless shelters. Maybe from time to time, they make this and that for the children. But this is not what is required. What is required is to be like an early Christian, coming together every day with a lot of zeal in a community where you be empowered. And when you leave that community, you spread the light into your neighborhoods. You talk about it. You bring the people to the next meeting together. And you do daily sacrifices of love by daily supporting the needy, the Lazarus at your gate in your neighborhood, going forth every day to do something good. There is nothing like this in this world. So Triple Grace and I myself for the last 10 years have built a structure of societies of the rose that will exactly bring back these old assemblies of love and righteousness in the same pattern, in the same matter, coming together every day in places, in houses or in other meeting places. We don't need a church because we are the temple. We are the temple of the Lord. Our body is the temple of the Lord. And we will shine forth, not a stone building. So we will come together every day receive teachings, receive knowledge, get empowered, have love meals together, exactly as the first Christian did. And then we will go out every day. We have a project every day where we go and help people. Every day, not only once a week or once in the blue moon, but every day. Every day we do a daily sacrifice. That's the reason why we are also called the daily sacrificers. And you can be part of it, because to establish a society of the rose, an assembly of love and righteousness in your neighborhood is very easy. Just bring people together and start. Pray over it, ask the Holy Spirit for guidance and Jesus for guidance, and then you will start and open it up. And you will see how successful it will be. Because the Holy Spirit will bring all the people to you that will help you to advance and bring it forth. And you will experience a complete new face and filled with a lot of spirit. So you will not only walk in face, but you will also walk in spirit and face as you were commanded to do. And then with this light and this power in you, you will go into your neighborhoods and you will show forth that love of the Father to the people. And the people will say, oh, these Christians, they are different from the normal ones who go to the churches. Look at them, what they're doing, and how content and happy they are. There are many, many advantages that a society of the rose or an assembly of love and righteousness has. Please watch our video in the New Journey to Paradise series about societies of the rose. There we have mentioned all the advantages. I will give you a few examples. 
a society of the rose should have a maximum of 50 members. Now, if you as an individual in this group has a problem, then you have 49 loving Christians next to you who are immediately ready to help and support you. Now, this leads to what? All your stress, all your fears, everything, the doubts about the future will be relieved and completely destroyed. Because no matter what will happen, you know that you have a loving and trusting community around you. No matter the case, no matter what will happen, they will assist you. And next time you will assist another one in your group. So this is what we are calling supporting one another within a society of the rose. No fears anymore. No problem. No thinking, oh, what will happen if I get sick tomorrow? What will happen if I lose my job tomorrow? What will happen if there is an accident with my child? What will happen here? What will happen there? All this is gone. And you can concentrate now fully on the work for the Lord. Because you do not have to think anymore about problems. That's one very huge advantage. Then for elder people, the Society of the Rose can give you this activity again that you do not have anymore since you are retired. Now there, you can do something useful. You can advance the kingdom of heaven. You can assist the whole assembly of love and righteousness with your work and your wisdom. And there are many, many, many other advantages, like sharing of resources. If you need transport you don't have, but one in the group has, then you can get the transport, you can share it and you can use it. There are a lot of solutions and of all your problems and of of your of the cases that will arise from time to time. So a Society of the Rose is offering a lot of advantages. Just have a look at that video, Societies of the Rose. I will link it in the pin comment. You see, with these Assemblies of Love and Righteousness, we come very close to the time when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was on earth. And we are going now into a time that will repeat this area. Because when Antichrist will come onto the earth, it will be like the time when Nero was there and the persecution of Christians will start. And in this time, you have to be in an assembly of love and righteousness, in a society of the rose, together, so that you can support one another. And that you are not depending on government, because the government will hunt you down. When the Antichrist is there, it will be a dark time for the Christians. So you have to come together in some structures that will support and help you, and that can be covered by the Lord, and that, that can be put under the wings of the Father. And these are the Societies of the Rose. And the Societies of the Rose main program is to gather in the saints. The saints that will stand in the white clothes, it's a multitude clothed in white, at the base of Mount Zion, and will then be raptured into paradise. And you can establish such a society in your neighborhood. Just go in touch with us. Ask us what we should do. We will tell you. Come to our ministry email, triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Bring it forth. In Jesus' name I pray. All of you who have thought about it, the church is not anymore the true place. Come and join Triple Grace. Join our website at triple slash grace.com. It's free. Ask your questions. Have a look at our YouTube channel. There are so many resources. And then come forth and become a follower of the path, a daily sacrifice, a true son and true daughter of the Most High of Yahweh, of God Almighty. Thank you that you have listened to this video. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Please follow the links in the first pinned comment to take the challenge of a pure heart and also to watch that video about the societies of the Ross. I love you all so dearly, and I hope I will see you again tomorrow for the next topic. If you're guided to sow into this ministry, then please, there's also a link in the pinned comment and in the description box below. So help us to bring it forth, to spread the message to all the continents, to all the nations, to all the people. 
Thank you for all your donations and your engagements with us. I love you. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.